So today I'm going to show you how to solve a flow between two parallel plates using ANSYS. The problem that we are after look like this. We have a flow between two parallel plates and we have four boundary conditions which is the wall at the top, uh, symmetry uh, wall, in the, what we call symmetry plane in the middle. Uh, so we solve half of the problem. Uh, entrance uh, velocity, the v uh, fluid coming at uniform velocity and and we have at the outlet atmosphere or uh, outlet pressure so now to solve this problem you need to go and open uh, workbench ANSYS so if you go and hit here you're gonna end up with this screen then you need to drag fluent and now you need to work your way down starting with geometry mesh and setup so firstly let's open the geometry to create our geometry as you saw in previous slide we need to have 2D problem. So to do it, we need to go to sketching here, select setting, make sure the grid is uh, 2D and snap, uh, change major grid to 1, and now we can go to draw, make this 2D, zoom to the right uh, side corner, create a rectangle, start from 0, 0, and expand it until you reach 10 and 1 then concept create surface from sketch pick one of the edges and apply now we created a sketch generated the geometry look like this now if you close this means it will save the geometry after saving the geometry you can create a mesh by going to mesh double click on mesh it will import the geometry from uh, uh, from the um, geometry program you can go and make it 2d you need to define uh, inlet and outlet here so what we're gonna do we're gonna select this and call it inlet fluid and we're gonna call this outlet outlet fm and this will be our wall so we're gonna call it wall fm and finally the symmetric wall we're gonna call it symmetry fm so now we create we named everything now we need to mesh the this area to mesh it we go to mesh and here you're gonna see this bottom mesh control uh, for sizing we can select this edge then hit control and select the other edge and say apply the element size here we can pick element size of 0.1 so we had 1 divided by 0.1 we get 10 element here also you can select this and this and hit mesh control sizing and now you can put element size of 0.5 so you can see now we have meshed this 0.5 we meshed this edge 0.1 now uh, also we can add mapping mapping for face so we create a map and we can select this geometry say apply now we can generate the mesh so if you say update it will generate the mesh so this is how the mesh look like now we need to solve it to solve it we need to go to answer so if i close this and open setup and hit ok we need to specify material and boundary condition uh, if you look to the general there is some information that you can read about model we can only make viscous uh, uh, modeling is available which is laminar we're not gonna uh, take the energy so let's go to material change the fluid here call it fluid new and here give it density of one viscosity of one create yes and close now we have the new fluid is uh, new fluid uh, we're not going to change any of these we need just to change boundary condition the inlet the velocity has to be one meter per second for uh, outlet you can keep it uh, as it which is zero also for symmetry and wall you can keep it as it uh, now all what we need to monitor the solution so the error here you can control it by reducing 
the residual so I add the residual and initialize your solution so here we initialize the solution finally we can start the run by for example let's start with 200 iteration software will start solving the solution will reach convergence as you can see solution is converged if it doesn't you increase number of iteration uh, now let's go to graph plot contour I can plot the velocity contour so this is the velocity contour and you can hit fill so it look like this maximum at the center the minimum at the wall also we can plot velocity profile and uh, here for example velocity at the inlet and the outlet if you put this one zero this is one you can say plot if you can see this is at the outlet this is at the inlet you can also add plane for example let's say plot it at point uh, two point two this is plane number one then we can make another plane at point four point four and finally at point six point six create close and now you can plot over this plane and you're gonna get this profile which show you for example how the flow is developing until it reach fully developed I hope this is useful for you you can play with other uh, information uh, and other options so you can learn more about the software